Hello everyone, my name is Isa Tajiri Sagaigi. I am your instructor for today's lesson. Welcome to Data and Information. At the end of this lesson, students should be able to define what is data, forms of data, define what is information, what are the characteristics or quality of information? What are the data processing stages? What are the steps for conversion of data to information? And lastly, students should be able to answer some questions at the end of this lesson. Introduction. Data and information plays a vital role in computing. The messages we send and receive every day from our friends and family and beloved ones are all forms of data and information. The word data refers to a raw fact about an object. Data can also be defined as a repre representation of facts, concept, or instruction in a formalized manner, which should be suitable for communication, interpretation, or processing by human or electronic machine. Data is meaningless. Why is data is called a meaningless? Data is meaningless until it is subjected to a manual or electronic processing by a computer to produce information which is useful, which is used for a decision making. Actually, data are unprocessed. That's why we call it we call it a collection of raw facts or figures. Data is represented with the help of characters such as alphabet, digit, or special character. An example of data is when a student gets admission into a college, a student normally fills admission form. This admission form contains a raw fact that is the data of a student such as his name, his gender, his photograph, father's name, address, his previous school, his grade, and so on. These are called a data. Also, during a census, a data of all citizens is collected. This data will be processed to produce information which will be helpful to the government to make decisions, and also to know the total population of the student or for total population of the, of the country. Also to know how many illiterate and how many educated persons are there in a country. So these are called a data. We do have also forms of data. Data can be in various forms. Data can be in form of a text, in form of numbers, in form of images, in form of audios. Also it can be in form of videos. Now let's look at what is information. A processed data is called information. After the data are being collected and being processed, the output is called the information. Information is an organized or classified data which has some meaningful values for the receiver. Information is a processed data on which decision and action are based information is meaningful like i said earlier when a student get an admission into a school he or she normally fills admission form which consists of his name his gender his father's name address and so on so all these data are being gathered and processed to give information from that information the school or the college will now make a useful or, or decision making on the data has been gathered. Now let's look at a good example. Now here is a data input. That means the data been to be processed will be subjected to a system for 
processing. After this data input has been processed, it will give information. This information is our output. It will be a decision to the user. Now let's look at the characteristics or the qualities of information. For decision to be meaningful, the process data must qualify for the following characteristics. Data should be a um, should be timely that is information should be available when required accuracy information should be accurate also the last one is completeness information should be complete data processing stages we have three data processing stages the first stage is the input that is the data then the processing and then lastly is the output that is the information being given so information has a specific sequence or order these are the sequence the user give a raw fact as an input to the computer the computer or the system process it and then it will give output this output will be information and then this information will be useful to the user for decision making. Lastly, we'll look at the step for conversion of data into information. Before information is being processed, those data should be collected. That is, data to be processed need to be gathered from various sources. This data should be classified. It should be classified based on how many males how many females how many children how many adults this data should be sorted that is sorting takes the form of arranging data into free defined order of a sequence the data should be edited this takes the form of correcting mistake from the body of the data and then calculations and then translating now let's do a recap in this lesson we have learned what is data with examples what is information what are the characteristics or qualities of information where i said it should be timely it should be accurate and it should be complete data processing stages these are the input the processing and then the output then lastly the step for combating of data into information. Now, students should be able to answer these questions. What are the differences between data and information with examples? Why is data is meaningless? And which of the following is not correct about information? A information is a process data b information cannot be understood by human information can be costly to obtain lastly information is a data with meaning thank you very much for listening